And I will do it for you Hey guys, it's Sophia and today I'm so excited for this video because I'm doing a Thanksgiving inspiration video and I have not done a Thanksgiving video in like two years and that was only an outfit video. This time it includes some DIY decor slash crafts, a DIY Thanksgiving treat and also some Thanksgiving outfit ideas. I'm so excited to show you this because in the past I've just gone straight to Christmas videos after Halloween but this year I wanted to take some time out to really recognize Thanksgiving because it is also a very important holiday. And I also just want to say that this video is sponsored by Luxie hair extensions. I love Luxie so much. I've been wanting to try out hair extensions for a while and I'm so happy with these. I'm actually wearing some right now. They're so pretty. They clip in so easily and they have a bunch of different colors on their website. You guys can actually use my code in the description to get a discount on some Luxie hair extensions. You can wear them on Thanksgiving or for the holidays. There's so many different hairstyles you can do with it and it's really cool because I've always wanted to see what I look like with long hair since my hair just doesn't grow it seems like and these are so easy to put in. They they clip in really fast and your hair is just long and luscious instantly and it's really awesome. I actually wear these hair extensions in all the outfits in my video so if you guys want to see more of me with long hair then keep on watching and I really recommend you checking out Luxie. All of their links will be in the description and also the coupon code. But anyway I think that's all I have to say for this intro. I really hope you guys enjoy this Thanksgiving video and let's go ahead and get started. So for our first DIY Thanksgiving craft, we're going to be making this Thanksgiving frame. So all you're going to do is start out by printing out an adult coloring book page from Google Images. I found a pumpkin one, but they have turkey ones and a bunch of other Thanksgiving themed ones. And all you're going to do is take some fall colored pencils and color in your adult coloring book. It takes me back to the days when I used to color all the time when I was little and it's so relaxing doing this. It's really a fun DIY because you can get creative, use whatever colors you want, and you can just kind of relax, color, take your mind off of any stress you have in life, and you end up with a pretty cool piece of art. Once you're finished coloring in your design, you can just pop it into a frame. I chose this red one because it reminded me of Thanksgiving. And then you can put it anywhere you want in your room or your house. I think it's so cute and it's just such a simple way to spice up your room for either fall or Thanksgiving. And the cool thing about this is you can customize this for whatever holiday you want. You could do one for Christmas, spring, anything. I just think it's a super easy decoration and it's really cute. Next, you're going to be making a super cute DIY thankful jar. So all you're going to need is a glass jar, some fall embellishments, popsicle sticks, cute ribbon, some labels, and also some pebbles. First, just start out by taking some popsicle sticks and a pen and writing out all the things you're thankful for in life. And it does sound cheesy, but I think it's really important that everyone takes some time, especially around this time of year, to just remember what they have and be appreciative and thankful for everything in their life. I wrote down a bunch of things like friends, family, a roof over my head, a warm bed, a lot of things that we take for granted that we don't even realize, and also, of course, you guys, because I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Once you've written out everything you're thankful for on your popsicle sticks, I decided to decorate mine with the yarn that I got at Michael's. It's super cute, it's orange and has polka dots. So all I did was cut a few strips and then just hot glued little ones to the end of my popsicle sticks and these really jazz them up and make them festive. And next I filled my jar with the fall pebbles and I placed a label on it that said give thanks. You could write thankful jar or really anything you want but I thought this was appropriate. And I also added on my leaf embellishments. I got these for a few bucks at Michael's. And to tie everything off, I knotted a little piece of yarn around the rim of my jar and I think it just makes everything go well together. And then you can put in your popsicle sticks and there you have your thankful jar. I think this is a great way to just take some time to realize what you're thankful for. And when you're feeling down, you can look at the things you have in life and it does sound really cheesy, but it's true. You can have this up all year or just Thanksgiving, it's up to you, but I just think it's really cool and a great piece of room decor and also really meaningful.
Moving on to our DIY turkey treats for Thanksgiving. You're gonna start out with the marshmallow and put a little cake pop stick inside of there. And then you're going to coat the marshmallow with some melted chocolate. I chose to use dark chocolate, but it's your preference. Next, I took some candy eyeballs that I found at Michael's and just placed them on the wet chocolate. And once I did that with the rest of the marshmallows, I put a piece of candy corn as the nose underneath the eyeballs. And you're just going to put this in the freezer for a few minutes until everything is hardened and nothing falls off. For our turkey feathers, we're gonna be using candy corn, so just dip it into some melted chocolate and then place it on top of the marshmallow, and that's all you have to do. These are so easy to make. I think they're perfect for maybe a party or even to bring to your Thanksgiving dinner. They're yummy, and you should definitely make them this year. Moving on to our Thanksgiving outfit ideas. For this outfit, I am wearing some riding boots and also some socks that I got from Forever 21 and they're tall and they really tie the outfit together. I also wore some black leggings and this super cute bear sweater. It's so soft and fuzzy. I got it from Forever 21 and it was on clearance. It's the most comfortable sweater I've ever worn. And I also wore a velvet choker from Forever 21. Everything's from Forever 21, I feel like. And that is basically it for the outfit. I think it's perfect for maybe a more casual Thanksgiving meal. It's super comfy. and. And also, I'm wearing my Luxie hair extensions, and it's so cool having long hair. I just did a fishtail with this, and I absolutely love it. For outfit number two, starting out with the shoes, I'm wearing some super cute black booties from Guess Where Forever 21, and then I'm wearing this adorable corduroy mustard color skirt from Free People, and it was on major sale, and I paired that with a simple long sleeve black t-shirt, probably from Target, and my favorite part of this outfit is probably the scarf. It's a really pretty color, and I got it for Christmas last year. To keep my legs warm, I wore some sheer black tights, and I just love this outfit. I think it is so cute, and it's probably one of my favorites. For the third outfit, I am wearing my skirt that I designed, which is so crazy to say, and I love it because this plaid design really reminds me of fall and Thanksgiving and the holidays, and with that, I wore a white shirt from Forever 21 and a cute star choker from Brandy Melville, along with an Abercrombie cardigan, some sheer black tights, and the same black booties that I wore in my last outfit, and I'm kind of obsessed with my hair and these pigtails with my hair extensions. It's so cute, and I love this outfit as well. So that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because I have so many exciting holiday videos coming up and I can't wait to show you guys. Also, please let me know in the comments down below, one, what you are thankful for, and number two, what your favorite Thanksgiving food is. Mine is probably sweet potato casserole that my grandma makes. It's so delicious. And also, I don't know if you guys saw last week's video, but I came out with my own skirt with mode, and I love it so much. As you guys know, I wore it in one of my Thanksgiving outfits. You can get your very own skirt for only $10. We actually lowered the price for you guys. If you guys wanna get one, make sure to check the information in the description. I'll have the link and everything there for you. And also, it's a great cause because some of the money goes to St. George Children's Hospital, which is amazing. I'm so thankful for you guys and my family and friends and just everything that we take for granted in life. I'm I'm just so blessed to have everything and Thanksgiving is a great time to think about that. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your friends and family and if you don't live in America I hope you just have a great day and I'm sorry that this video didn't really relate to you but don't worry there will be tons more videos that you can watch. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!